Hello, mate. You're alright. What's your name? You're right, Steve. Nice to meet you, Steve. You're okay, Steve. I feel like your teeth are natural, but they're nice. I like them. They're good, them, Steve. What do you do, Steve? A dry line, a ceiling fit, a nice. You've been working through lockers and that. Is that essential working, is it? Yeah, because people need fucking ceilings, don't they? <laughs> if you didn't have ceilings, you couldn't be locked in, could you? <laughs> you be looking out at the ceiling, fucking getting COVID from the sky. <laughs> from the fucking planes and the chemtrails and all that. I'm into some fucking dark conspiracy theories, mate. You know, you know, heads fell off, mate. Did your head fall off in lockdown? Did you just, it was normal for you. You only had two weeks off, mate. I had six months off in the house for six months on me fucking home because my bird lives in Turkey, sky wanking and that. It's fucking terrible time, you know. I had DMT about three weeks before lockdown, right? And that's a fucking... I love DMT. It's fucking great. But when you've just had a DMT trip and then the fucking world ends, you're like, did I ever come out of that trip? I don't know what the fuck's going on here. I'm, yeah, I'm flapping about it. Fucking, I didn't know what was going on. The shop sales started closing and shit like that. Um, the lad who owns this comedy club is one of the most sensible, cleverest people I know, right? He's fucking... Like, he's, he's a genius, right? But he's very level-headed, very calm individual. Do you know what I mean? But I phoned him up about three weeks into lockdown, and he went, get on this, and he bought, like, no, them big barrel planters, you'll know them, like, fucking big barrel planters, the garden ones, right? He bought fucking 16 of them, right? I was going, lad, I'm, I'm, I'm growing spuds in case it goes off. <laughs> and I'm like, what? He's always on to shit him. And then I'm panicking them, thinking, fucking hell, I'm not even growing spuds here, I'm going to die. <laughs> And then I couldn't get barrel planters for nowhere because everywhere was fucking shut. And I'm thinking, I'm going to fucking starve. I've got no spuds here. It's going to be fucking terrible. So then I, and then I thought it through and I thought, you know, what, what am I going to do if I can't get spuds? So then I tried to buy a sword, right? Because my logic was, if there's two of us and you've got spuds and I've got a sword, I've got a sword and spuds, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> and you're dead. <laughs> yeah, that was sad. That was on my own, just like YouTube and watching YouTube videos on the best sword for self defense and shit. Like a fucking asshole. Like whether you should buy a katana or a Viking sword. The Viking one. Look, at one point I was going to buy a Viking sword and a little axe because I've been watching too much Vikings and that. I was like, I'll block with that one and I'll chop them with that one. <laughs> And then I was in bed at night, like, you know when you do that bedtime shop and I think, I'm going to sleep on this. I don't know which one. I had them all in my basket on Blade UK. It's fucking mad, mad easy to buy a sword now. <laughs> I had no idea it was so, no wonder all these kids have got fucking machetes, the 25 quid. <laughs> and then I was like, I went to sleep, right? And I, you know when you had fucking, cause, yeah, <laughs> you know when you have to, one of them fucking weird, like dead fucking vivid dreams, like a bad nightmare. And in the dream, right, there was all fucking ketwigs going up and down the streets on motorbikes. <laughs> Just volleying people's doors in the world had gone off. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Tesco had closed because no one could go into work because of COVID, and then all the fucking go all, all the little catwigs were like, mam, 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 mam. <laughs> just taking everyone's shit and that. And he started coming through my door, and I was like, "Fuck you! I've got a sword." And I picked my katana up and I ran downstairs, thinking I was Kill Bill, right? And I went like that, and I just and I just caught it on the ceiling, right? And, and, and he just tackled me and stabbed me with my own sword. <laughs> so I never bought a sword. <laughs> Been a weird time, mate. How long you two been together? Eight years in? Nice, mate. So you're in the same little bubble, were you? Beautiful, that, isn't it? Nice, that. What's your name? Angela. Angela, you're right, Angela. What, you, what, what have you been doing for lockers? You've been working as well? No, mummy. Mummy? Oh. How many kids did you got? Two. Two. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> I felt a pure tone. I'm a mummy. How many kids you got? Fucking two. <laughs> and I ate the both of the cunts. <laughs> How old are they? Oh, fucking hell, you had a gap there, didn't you? You do know the 15-year-old's not yours, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a dead nice mood. You're in a good mood. Who's got the kiddies tonight, then? Uh, my mum and my Oh, that's nice. You're having a big one, then. Where are you from? Where are you from, Steve? Blackpool. From Blackpool. You're not going back there tonight, are you? No. Got a hotel in there. Fucking make a third one, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Get away from my fanny. Fuck off. <laughs> 